Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we will see the question score of parenthesis. Given a balanced parenthesis string, compute the score for the string based on the following rule. And there are three rules for doing this. If you simply have open and close bracket, the score would be 1. If you have multiple pairs or multiple balanced parenthesis string, for example, like this, the score would be A plus B. That is the score for this which is 1 and the score for this one which is 1. So the total score would be 1 plus 1 that is 2. And there is a case where you have nested parentheses like this or like this. So in this case the score, the inner score that is A would get doubled to get the score for this outer parenthesis. So there are two cases basically over here. One is addition when you have a simple braces and one is multiplication when you have nested braces. So now let's go ahead and see how we can solve this question. Let's take this example and over here we can see that these three are the base cases or a simple bracket case wherein there is a open bracket and a close bracket. So it has a value of or a score of one. Now the second case is when these brackets are enclosed within another pair of braces. So in that case it becomes nested and so the value for this particular element over here becomes 2 multiplied by the inner value and the inner value would be given by the addition of all the values that are present inside it. So the inner value would become 2 and the outer value would become 4. Now with that we also have these two brackets so the complete value for these braces would be the value for this particular set plus the value for this particular set which gives us 5. So that's how we can calculate the score for a particular set of parentheses. Now how can we approach with this problem? Whenever we hear about balancing a parenthesis or doing anything any operation or finding something that has a relation to parenthesis, the first thing that comes to mind is stack. So we will also solve this question by using stack. Before that, let's understand or let's keep in mind what are the two cases that would be applied to this particular question. One is addition and the second is multiplication. Addition in the case of simple parenthesis, multiplication in case of nesting. So as said, let's take a stack and we'll start iterating from the start of the string. And over here, we also need to put some value in stack and perform the operation. So what are we going to put in stack? Are we going to put the braces over here? No, we'll be putting zero if we are having an open bracket and whenever we encounter a close bracket, we'll be calculating the result for everything that is enclosed within that close bracket and the corresponding open bracket. So if we are here, we'll be calculating everything for this particular set. So initially as we can see that this is an open bracket we will put 0 in stack and now we will move one step ahead. Again an open bracket so we had put 0. Now we have a close bracket so we need to calculate something and as we know that this particular set would be giving us 1. For now let's just write 1 and move ahead and we will see how we calculate for close bracket when we reach a nested bracket so that you can understand it easily. So over here what we do is we pop this value because this is one of the opening brackets from this particular set and we'll add the value or the score for that particular set which would be 1. Again when we come over here we get the same thing and so we'll add 1 over here. Now in this case after we go one step ahead we have this closing bracket and we have some values inside it. So now we need to calculate it. So what we are going to do is we first need to add all the values that are present within the bracket. So we do a 1 plus 1 which is giving us 2 and with this we also need to do a multiplication because this was a nested loop. So over here as we are having a value so we can say that this whole value which is 2 would be multiplied by 2 and this everything will be replaced by that particular value. So in the stack also the 0 would get replaced with 4. So over here what we have done is we have just depicted 
the addition and now we do a multiplication and we add this 4 inside the stack. After this we will again move forward and this will give us 1 and so we put 1 in stack. As we put 1 in stack this array or the input string has come to an end and so now what is the result? The result is the addition of everything that is there in the stack and so we do add everything that was there in stack which gives us a result which is 5. So that's the approach that we are going to follow. So now let's go ahead and code it out. So we'll need a count variable which would be 0 and then we'll need a stack. After we have these things with us, we'll start iterating over each and every character from our string. In here we check what character this is. So if this is an opening bracket, then we just need to push 0 into the stack and otherwise we need to calculate. So over here we also need a value. So int val would be 0 and that val would be for everything that is present inside a parenthesis. So inside a parenthesis, while we are not getting an opening bracket, what we are going to do is we are going to perform addition. So this states that while I am not getting an opening bracket that is denoted by 0, I am just going on popping the values from the stack and adding it in our val. After this is done, I need to multiply the result by 2 for the outer bracket. So my val would become 2 multiplied by the value. But would this always be a case? No, because there can also be a case wherein I am having only a opening and a closing bracket. In that case, this won't suffice because here I need 1. So over here, I can do math.maxof 2 into val or 1, whichever is maximum. Because if I wouldn't have got anything from here, my val would have still been 0 and in that case, my answer would have been 1. Once I have this value with me, I need to also pop the value that is present in the stack. So I do a stack.pop to remove the previous value and after that I will also push this current value inside the stack. So that gives stack.push val. So this for loop till here will take care of adding everything in the stack or forming my result set in the stack. After my result set is there in the stack, I just need to add everything present in the stack and give the result. So I will take a while loop and while my stack is not empty, I will add everything that is there in stack into my count variable and at the end return the count. So that is an iterative approach of solving this particular question and let's run this code and this is going to be a 2 and here I have done a little bit of mistake and it's running fine. Let's submit this and it got submitted. So the time complexity for this approach is O of n and the space complexity is also O of n as we have taken a stack. There is also a constant space solution that is given with the question and you can go ahead and look into it and see if you can understand that. If you need any help, please do comment in the comment section and we'll try to make a video on that particular approach. So that's it for today guys. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you in another one. So till then, keep learning, keep coding.